Okay, work with members PDM, very like work with libraries and work with objects, but members live within a file. If you're from an SQL background, you'll be scratching your head thinking, what the hell is a member? I'm not aware of a, an equivalent of a member in uh, SQL. It's like a table within a table. So um, you have a table, which we call a physical file. Within the file, you have the structure of the columns, right? But there's, if you imagine that the file is a book, members are chapters within that book. They're all identical. When we point at a file, a table to read, we'll, see, we'll say, read, read member one, read member two, read member three, or read all members. So what we're going to say is, show me this file, QRPG. It doesn't have to be a source file. It could be a physical file in this library and show me all members beginning with this. I'm going to take this off so we go back to completely default. We're now looking at every single member within this file. They all have the exact same structure. If I display the field layout for QN Litten, you see that it has three fields, three tables in it, one called sequence, one called date, and one called data. So this particular file has sequence date and data in it and multiple members get web json hello one hello two blah 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 um i did for those eagle eyed people there a command called display field uh the ibm command does the same thing as display fft here's the same file not quite as friendly to look at but it shows you the same information sequence date and data and here's the exact same thing. You'll notice that the structure is kind of the same as object and PDM. It just asks you what the file is, where you want to position. The exact same thing again. Those are all the options. Obviously, they're different because they're only member-specific options. And here's all our function keys, which are more or less the same across all of the um, PDM commands that we play with. Same in here. We can do all the same subsets that we did with the objects and the libraries. One of the nicer functions in here, we can look at things that have been changed between a specific date range. If a couple of the members have been changed in the file, obviously we can subset on that. This also lets us do the same thing, subsetting on text. Remember I said, just show me members with text containing. This text search is a containing, it's not an exact. This says, show me anything with V1 in the text. So it says, right, there are no members in this file that have V1 in the text. Let's say that I want to look at members that have, I know, hello in the text. These are the programs that have hello as part of that text code. Work member PDM. Now, onto the most exciting thing. If I press Shift F4 in here, function key 16, it takes me to my user defined options. Super powerful and the saving grace for programmers everywhere. So let's go into user defined options, but let's go back to the main start PDM screen and we'll start playing with user defined options from here. Come back and define some user options with me. <laughs> 